with us from the Post-Conflict Logistics Channel. Welcome, Alberto. Thank you very much for having uh, me here today. Oh, well, it's wonderful to have you. Now, your uh, role on this panel focused on the um, transport of heavy lift yes, cargos correct. Um, in post-conflict regions. How does that differ from you know, a peacetime region? Yeah, uh, it's very simple. In a post-war country or region, you have uh, damaged infrastructures and usually newly uh, new governments try to take over. While in a normal, uh, well-developed country, you have very well-established infrastructure and a solid government. So for instance, when it comes into transporting modularized items or very heavy items, for instance, a turbine, a generator, if you are in Saudi Arabia, for instance, you have uh, the best uh, conditions in the region. You have the best infrastructures in the region. When you are in Iraq, a country crossed by two rivers and post-war, you can imagine the, the, the quality of the infrastructure. So crossing um, rivers over bridges bombarded during wartime is not ideal. Uh, very low power lines, waterways with shallow water or sunken ships or overhead bridges, all of those are obstacles, challenges for us. Not only for us, because we have the technology to overcome those um, obstacles, but mainly for the end users, Ministry of Oil, Ministry of Electricity, EPC contractors, international oil companies. So basically our early engagement in that areas lead them uh, towards uh, specific solutions which can be implemented by our R&D, research and development, or by the traditional heavy transport technology. Ah, all right. So how do you go out and do your own route surveys and, and look at maybe different routes to take? Yeah. Uh, how does that process work? Well, uh, I have spent uh, a couple of years personally in Iraq at the very beginning when I established the branch to get the mastery of the routings. Uh, it was extremely important due to the post-war situation to understand uh, the locations of different oil fields and project areas to then come into a common solution. So for instance, uh, when you have uh, an oil field which is located on the east side of the river, and you have five project areas located on the west side of the river, you can offer to the five project areas located on the other side of the river a module path solution studying all possible routings and all possible constraints among those routings and applying solutions. And the unique uh, location of the project east side of the river required a different type of solution because the river to cross the river you have like 250 meters of crossing and when you have uh, generators turbines which are the worst enemy of the bridges because they are very short compacted and extremely heavy then over there we applied uh, a different solution which was the barging option on the river so it is, it is really important to understand all routings to then offer, according to the uh, characteristics of the specific project, the, 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 the suitable solution to deliver oversized cargo and heavy lifts. Excellent. Well, it sounds like kind of an exciting field to be in. Yeah, challenging. challenging. Yeah, right? Challenging. Very challenging. All right. Very challenging. Well, thank you so much for sharing Most that Most welcome. With us. All right. Thank you so much.